Next spin. You sure? Okay. Boom! Oh, we don't want to go deep. Toram comes. Vieira comes in. The double! All right, let's, let's get straight into it. We are talking about Patrick Vieira today. Is he the best player in the game? I think so. I'm going to show you why. Now, you're going to see a couple of clips here in the background. A lot of people have been asking me for this review. I'm going to show you the ultimate build as well. But these clips will just seamlessly showcase why he's so good. He's a blocker. He's a stopper. You can pass the ball with him. You can dribble with him with this build. We're going to show you the best build for him and the positioning for him, the individual instructions. Pretty much, this is the only video you need on Paddy V, right? Again, we're going to be picking the ball up here with our DMF, who is Patrick Vieira. In this case, he's very deep. He's trying to get the ball and get, get it going again. Again, we break down the play from a header from Cannavaro and it's sprayed out. And then, of course, you have this, which, I mean, let the clip talk for itself. Unbelievable. I mean, Patrick Vieira is the kickoff glip, glitch stopper. That is what he is. And again, it's every single time that he gets into a 50-50. He's so strong, so physical, so agile for a big man. I just feel like he's just unreal, man. There's no equal to him apart from the other version of Vieira. Or maybe one or two other players as well, which we'll get into. And again, look at the positioning. He's right there, just ahead of the center forwards. Very, very deep, given an option. And again, look at his track in here. This is all AI, okay? This is all AI. We're actually kind of dragged in to defend him manually here with Fabio Cannavaro. But look where Vieira ends up, lads. He's back as part of a back three. We've got Vieira, we've got Costa Corta, we've got Toram, and then, of course, we've got manually defending with Cannavaro. Ball breaks down to who? Vieira. And again, he can mix it up as well if you like to manually defend, right? He actually turns me quite well there. We recover with the slide tackle. Game over. Job done. Get home. Get some grub. Go to bed. Vieira likes to do that. Now, we did also get Turam and Javi Alonso. If you guys want to see this deep dive kind of review where we go through everything. And of course, I've thrown in a couple of comparisons and a rating for Vieira at the end of the video. So let me know if you like the format as well. And don't forget to subscribe. But this Patrick Vieira Leds is down as an anchorman. Now, we're going to do a, a kind of a comparison between Vieira uh, anchorman, which is the new one, the French one, and the old school Patrick Vieira one as well, right? But before we do that, I'm going to show you my stats, and I'm going to show you the build, and I'm going to show you everything with this card, right? So firstly, we have his tackling, we have his aggression, we have his defensive engagement, all over 95, minimum 95 and 92 defensive awareness. But the trick to this card, lads, is the 85 speed and the 85 acceleration from what I've been using him. His positioning is just flawless, right? There's the build as you see there. You can just copy that. You can pause the video if you want. But that is the build that we've gone for there. And we've also thrown on a booster, which is shutdown plus one. And that is going to give you an increase to his awareness, his tackling, his defensive engagement, and of course, that speed stat. So that's going to bring the speed up to about the 86, 87 mark. Now, with the additional skills, I have thrown man marking and acrobatic clearance on him. He has everything else off the rip. Aerial superiority and heading. He's got blocker and interception. He's got one-touch pass and weighted pass. I probably will throw on true pass to him as well. And, of course, you could do long-range shooting or whatever if you want to do that as well. But, essentially, he has everything. Now, the trick to Vieira, lads, is this deep line individual instruction. I have a video coming tomorrow which is going to go into why this works so effectively with gameplay clips. And you'll see the gameplay clips already. So if you want and you want to uh, subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on, you can do that. But this deep line here is going to essentially do what we, what we saw in that clip, where he's going to track back brilliantly. Also, one key tip I will say to you is if you want to train him as a CB, that also opens up the ability for you to have him as part of a sub-tactic, right? Now, the biggest problem with this is it's an issue I've been talking about for a while. It's a complete lottery, right? So we have to waste, what, six, seven of these before we actually get CB. And even at that, that's not a bad return of investment for these. I, I've wasted 20 of these not getting the position that I wanted before. But he actually can play CB. If you are able to play CB with him and have full proficiency, obviously you're going to have to use the second one. But I think that brings the card into a different level, right? And again, that means that when we're using our sub-tactic, if we're trailing a game or we want to stretch out an opponent or we want to spread out the play a little bit, we can now go back into that familiar four at the back, which is the meta, right? The meta is always going to be four center backs, three center forwards. No matter what happens in the middle of the pitch, that's really largely irrelevant, right? It's all about getting the ball from defense into attack as quickly as possible. But that is basically what you can open up there. Now, I did talk about comparisons, right? We're talking about the comparison between Patrick Vieira, Destroyer versus Anchorman. 
the amount of questions I got yesterday on the stream, and maybe I'll even do a separate video on it, just a shorter, more condensed video, comparing these guys gameplay-wise and stuff, the amount of questions I got, you can see the stats there, Les. we're not going to really talk about the stats, because they actually line up quite nicely, you've got the tackling, the aggression pretty much identical, you've got the speed and acceleration, you know, give or take, obviously the destroyer Patrick Vieira is going to be a little bit more aggressive, I think the comparison between Rijkaard and, and uh, Anchorman Patrick Vieira is more kind of, I suppose, accurate, um, especially with, with, the, with the, how the game is playing at the moment, where it's a lot of off-the-ball AI tracking, right? I personally like to manually defend a lot, and that's why I think Vieira is just a little bit more mobile. He's not as clunky as Rijkaard. Rijkaard is better as a real, real defensive option. Vieira can still offer you something going forward, as you've seen in the clips there. If you guys as well are looking for... Listen, no GP alternative really exists, but if you are looking, if you're starting off the game and you don't have the coins to spin, this guy, Dennis Sakaria is a beast. He is a monster. He's as close as you're going to get, really, without putting any time into him or training him up. Just, you know, boost up his stats, and he's fast, he's rapid, he's aggressive. But honestly, boys, there is no real alternative for who I consider the best player in the game. I, I think he is probably the best pound-for-pound -pound player in the game, and he gets our first rating of 10 out of 10 for a player review. So let me know what you guys think. Did you spin for Vieira? Let me know how he's going for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for me. Peace.